Okay, so for this worksheet, there are a few things that you need to take note. Okay, first of all, uh, a cube. Okay, if I were to draw for you. Okay, a cube has six sides. Okay, or six faces. Okay, so when you calculate the surface area, okay, you need to multiply by six. Okay, six times one times one. Okay, because uh, the, the area of each side okay will be length okay the length times the breadth so if the length is 1 cm then the breadth is 1 cm uh, then uh, is okay if the area the area will be the length times the breadth so in this case is 1 times 1 give you 1 square centimeter okay so for the cube with sides 1 cm, the surface area will be 6 square centimeter. Then for the, uh, the cube with side 2 cm, it will be 6 times 2 times 2. So this one will give you 24 square centimeter. Then for the cube with sides 3 cm, it will be 6 times 3 times 3. This one will be 54 square centimeter. Okay, I don't need to write the units again because in the headings, the units is stated clearly. So in the headings of a table, if the uh, units are stated clearly, square centimeter, there is no need to rewrite the units Okay, for every single row again. Okay, so that is for the calculation of the surface area. For volume, okay, whenever we calculate the volume of a cube, Okay, volume of a cube will be length times breadth times height. Okay, length times breadth times height. Huh? So in this case, it will be 1 cm times 1 cm times 1 cm. This will give you 1 cubic centimeter. Okay, then for the cube of two sides of, of, of sides 2 cm, it will be 2 times 2 times 2. This will be 8. Then for the cube of sides 3 cm, it will be 3 times 3. Um, three, so this one will give you 27. Now, the third column, surface area to volume ratio. Okay, for the third column on surface area to volume ratio, uh, it's basically calculating the ratio of surface area, SA stands for surface area, is to volume. Okay, so in this case, uh, for the cube of sides 1 cm, is 6 is to 1. Then for the cube with size 2 cm, it will be 24 is to 8. Then I can simplify it. It will become 3 is to 1. Okay, because when 8 divided by 8, I get 1. 24 divided by 8, I get 3. Okay, then the, for the cube of size 3 cm, it will be uh, 54 is 227. So likewise, I need to simplify it if possible, if I can. So 27 divided by 27 gives you 1. 54 divided by 27 gives you 2. Okay, so if you compare the cube, uh, the three different cube, the cube with 1 cm, the cube with 2 cm, and then the cube with 3 cm, uh, the surface area to volume ratio is very different. For the cube with 1 cm, uh, it's 6 is to 1, 6. Where else for the cube of size 2 cm is 3 is to 1. Then for the cube of size 3 cm is 2 is to 1. Okay, you see that uh, the surface area to volume ratio decreases. The surface area to volume ratio decreases down the column. Okay, it decreases down the column. Okay, so this is for 1a. Okay, then 1A is actually a hint uh, for question 1B. 1B uh, is actually asking you, explain why cells are small. Okay, so in order for you to answer this question, uh, before you answer this question, okay, first of all, you need to recognize that explain why is the question word. Okay, then they want you to explain why cells are small. So this is the context of the question. 
okay, the context is why the cells are small. And then you need to explain why cells are small. So this is the context of the question. Then before you start to answer, look at the mark. So it's two marks. So the marks uh, will tell you roughly how much to write. If it's two marks, most likely you, you need to write at least two different points. Okay, two different key ideas or two different concepts. Okay, so the first thing uh, that you can write uh, is, okay, the smaller the cells, the smaller the cell, the larger the surface area to volume ratio. The larger the surface area to volume ratio, surface area to volume ratio of the cell. Okay, actually the first point, uh, this first point, uh, you, can, you can reach this conclusion from 1A. Okay, this is actually from 1A. Okay, based on, on the calculation that, you, that we made, that we did in 1A, it actually helps you to, to come up with the first point. The smaller the cell, the larger the surface area to volume ratio okay, of the cell. And, and you are not done because uh, you have two marks. So you need to write at least one more thing. Okay, in fact, you can write two more, two other things. Okay, so the larger the surface area to volume ratio, it also means that, okay, the cell, the rate of diffusion, okay, the rate of diffusion of useful substances, okay, the rate of diffusion of useful substances, like example, okay, it'll be good if you can give some example like oxygen, O2, okay, or you can say glucose. You can also talk about amino acid. Okay, so the rate of diffusion of useful substances into the cell will be faster. Okay, will be faster. So this is important to cells. Because uh, if uh, useful substances uh, take a very long time to enter the cell, um, the cells may not get sufficient useful substances, may not get sufficient oxygen, may not get sufficient glucose to, to sustain whatever reaction needed for it to stay alive. Okay, so that is the, that's, that's the link, that's the importance. Why rate of diffusion of useful substances into the cell faster is good, okay? Then you can also talk about, okay, the for point number two, you can also talk about the rate of diffusion of water. Okay, the rate of diffusion of water. Into the cells will also be faster. Okay, will be faster. Because water is needed, okay, water is, uh, is uh, needed in living cells for a lot of chemical reaction. Okay, water is needed for enzymatic reaction to occur in uh, cells. Okay, so that's how you answer uh, uh, this question, okay, link to the part A. Okay, Ken, so uh, with that, I'll end uh, this uh, recording.